Hey, what is up my fellow devs? Thanks for checking out my channel. I want to talk today about the four keys to landing a successful software development job. So there's a little bit more than four keys, but I wanted to talk about four main ones. The first one is actually the technical interview. So it doesn't matter how good you are as a developer, if you can't do well in a technical interview, you won't actually land a role. It's kind of a funny conundrum because you might be very, very competent. You might be more competent than others, but if you shut down and you can't actually whiteboard in front of someone or explain your answers to someone, you might not actually uh, land a role. And this is really crucially important when you have interviews that don't involve a take home problem. So if you actually have to code in front of someone uh, and you've never done that before, uh, it can be really intimidating. So that's my first one. The second pillar I would say is technical competency. So you actually have to be able to perform the job. Now I do realize that something called imposter syndrome is real. Uh, I think I suffer from that and I think that a lot of people do. So it's easy to back away from opportunities that you might actually get by having imposter syndrome. But what I mean by technical competence is that you have a minimum threshold of ability to actually uh, achieve a job or to perform in that role. And without that minimum threshold of ability, you will probably get fired from that role. So landing a job and then getting fired is really bad because uh, that either puts you in a situation where you need to lie about what your previous role was or hide it. Um, it also, even if you can get away with uh, without showing it to your next employer, you can get really, really nervous and feel really inadequate. And uh, that's something that's actually really, really important to you landing a job is feeling confident in the interview. Number three is your GitHub. So what I mean by GitHub is just your GitHub or your portfolio. So having a portfolio of work that you actually performed is really, really important. I'd kind of pair this uh, third key along with having uh, action, um, uh, having actionable items that you've done on your resume. And what I mean by that is saying, oh, I did, I did X, I did X thing. There's actually a formula for this. So I'll probably go through this in another video, but I did X thing to, to provide X result. Um, and you have to focus on things that you actually did so that when people come and ask you about them, if you said, if you said that you architected something that your boss actually did and you can't explain the technical specifics of it, you'll look incompetent. Um, so your GitHub account is really, really important. Something that I did I, that I think might have helped me land this last job that I got was I took a, a project that I had. I didn't have it up on GitHub, but um, I actually I still mentioned it in my resume, but I didn't put that code out. And so what I did is I actually just threw the code threw the code up on GitHub. I was like, no one's going to steal this code anyway, and it's not really doing me any good. And I think that actually helped show. Oh, I actually have some code you can go look at. I had an app that I had um, in the app store. So I found that that was really, really, probably one of the key things that was valuable to me uh, in get landing a role. So the fourth thing, and last but not least, uh, is networking. So networking is really, really vitally important. I actually went to a, um, a meetup group that has about 300 people that meet at it here in, in Dallas area. And what I learned there was that uh, resumes actually only account for about 15% of landed jobs. And I believe that 65 or 75% of jobs are actually landed through networking. So what do I mean by networking? I mean, going out to meetups. So things that I did to go and land my job was go out to a meetup. I actually have a really cool, cool quick story I want to relate. So I actually went out to a meetup and this was, I think the first meetup that I did here in Dallas. I went to that meetup I met someone there I have a possibility for an interview. Another friend of mine uh, um, that I actually met there had uh, had a possibility for an interview as well. He went and interviewed, landed the job. I went and interviewed as well, almost landed the job except they didn't have a budget for me. And I got told, hey, wait three months or wait six months. It's like, hey, oh yeah, they told me recently, oh, wait another six months. And so I don't know if we'll ever have uh, an opening for that role. So that's another c critical thing is acting quickly and acting on whatever job you want quickly is, is important. So those are the four crucial keys to landing a job. 
Now, I want to break these down even more. I want to go more into networking, more into technical interviews, more into your portfolio, and <clears throat> more into your ex get, becoming an expert um, at full stack development or maybe front end development. We're going to cover those in some other videos. So I'd love you to comment below and let me know which one you want me to focus on next. Um, and also what other videos might help you with your career. It was it, you know, are you suffering from soft skills? Cause that is another key component. Um, you could say, um, you know, your technical interview is very important, but uh, another part is your, your, your soft skills in the interview. Are you suffering from, uh, is your resume horrible, right? So your resume, I, I'm not, I'm not going to say that's a key component. It can be close to key depending on how horrible it is. But if you have enough keywords in there and you can slap something together, it looks okay. Um, you might still land a job. There's a lot of horrible resumes out there, but making a good one actually counts. So um, let me know. Do you want to go over resumes in the next video that I make? Do you want to go over how to do how to do technical interviews? Do you want to go over soft skills? What type of things do you want to learn about? I want to make some more content for you guys. I'd love to hear from what you have. So subscribe below, comment, and we'll see you in the next one.